Hi everybody, it's Lori Zachary with LA Thrift Junkie. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be listing this week on the posh on the platforms that I sell on. So the platforms I sell on is Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. And I also do some whatnot auctions. None of this stuff is gonna be in the auctions quite yet. But I just wanted to show you everything I'd be listing for the week. I'm gonna tell you where I bought it and what I paid for it as long as I remember and see what you guys think. So if you are new to my show, welcome. And if you're a returning follower, thank you so much. Uh, my store is very style based. So I live in a small area. It's a little bit hard to find the great brands. And I've tried liquidations. I've done all the things and I dabble on this and that to kind of like keep on learning and growing. But I pick most of the stuff up due to style. So I'll let you know why I did pick it up as well. Okay, the first thing here is Anna, which I don't, it's a new approach. I don't ever, ever pick this up unless it's a jacket, a blazer, or like a cape sweater. Not even looks like a regular sweater. There are specific things I found out for myself, maybe not for you, that sells for me. Maybe you can sell this brand very well, but I got it because right now, motorcycle is trending it's pretty much always trending but it's especially trendy for fall this year this has like the stretchy material on it so it adds a little bit of interest it's lightweight it's in really good shape other than it just being a little wrinkled it's a size large and i don't i'd say this is pleather is what i call it faux leather let's take a peek here yeah so this is actually vegan leather so what does that mean? It's what the product is made out of, okay? And I just know that from my experience, and I don't know how to pronounce the words <laughs> that I know. To, that basically dictates what it is. I think it's like poly, polyurethane. It's not polyurethane, but it's something real close. <laughs> That's why I'm not trying to pronounce it. Here's a sweater you guys saw me do in my haul. That was from Kitty Butterfly. And I noticed the stain on it. So I went ahead and washed it. Everything came out very nicely. It's a super cute sweater. I love all the interest and detail on it. It does have a small little flaw on one of the cuffs right there. You can kind of see it's just a little, a little pull. How are somebody's knotted it, okay? So you don't just want to cut those things off because if you do, it's going to become a hole. And this is vintage shenanigans. So if you guys can see that, that's usually vintage and it's hand knitted and it's super sweet little sweater. Push my stuff over a little bit, you guys. Okay, this is something I found in one of my bins. Um, I'm really not sure where I got this, you guys, to be quite honest with you. It may have been liquidation at some point, meaning like if you're not a reseller and you're watching this, what is liquidation? Liquidation is like when places like Macy's, Target's, Nordstrom, they pull all the stuff from one season off the rack and then they sell it at a discounted rate. Sounds really exciting, right? Well, you never know what you're going to get when you order these pallets. So you order the pallets that cost anywhere from $400 to $5,000, depending on which company it, company it is. And you might get 30 the exact same extra small tops, or you might get the best palette ever. So there's it's a little bit of risk there. But I, I mean, this is super cute. I think it might be a pajama shirt. I'm not positive. It's pink Victoria's Secret and a red plaid. And it is a size, let me get the tag down here. It's a size small, okay? And it does have just a little bit of metallic red threading going throughout there. Here's another item that I had pulled. Evidently, this may, these may be from Liquidations. It's Faded Glory, which is either Kohl's or it might even be, um, I think this is Kohl's now. I think at one point it was at Walmart, but they're brand new with tag. Flannel pajama pants with pockets. I do believe they are possibly men's. Let's see what size they are. That'll tell me. Size large, so yeah, I would say that those are probably men's because they're fairly wide waist, but super comfy, cozy, brand new with tag. This I found at the bins, and of course I got it. It's actually Strawberry Shortcake brand, so at first I thought oh, it must be um, homemade, and I didn't even care, I'm still gonna get it, but it is scrubs with Strawberry Shortcake on it. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish I could sniff and smell strawberry shortcake in this shirt. I love, she was my favorite. That one in the peach. I don't, 
My sister was the one that had these. This wasn't in my time era, but I used to smell her dolls. It's like, mm, Amy, bring that over here. That smells so good. Okay, the next item is just like kind of like a cape poncho. And it is Michael Stars, which is actually an expensive brand. And that's why I kind of get on the bandwagon a little bit. Sometimes fast fashion isn't quite that horrible because sometimes their <laughs> the quality of their items are just as good. So this isn't a bad quality, but I also wouldn't have, if I would have picked it up and thought that maybe it might be Target, I wouldn't have been surprised, but it's this beautiful, I mean, look at that. That's really pretty pattern, tie-dye pattern. Okay, and it's just like a little poncho where you just kind of throw it over like so. Okay, and oh, have a Superman cape, right? Very bohemian, very sweet layer over the top of like a thin blouse or something like that. Okay, the next item I got is this, I got it at the bins. And I got it because it's this ginormous, very large, as you guys see, scarf. And not only is it a scarf, it is fleece. It is reversible and it is so very comfortable. It says 100% acrylic. I don't think there's a brand on it anywhere, but that doesn't matter because that's gonna sell. And I do need to pick some of the, this is just like little lint. It's in really good shape. So if you guys see any, that's just little lint from it laying with other fabric. And look, someone had tried to sell it at a Romy sale for $2 and they really wanted people to see it. So there it is. <laughs> okay, the next item I got at my local Goodwill, it was 99 cents. And I know hats is in fashion this year for fall. So a lot of people wearing them with the oversized blazers, of course, with flannels, that's a given. Um, but with like the oversized blazers, almost like a work casual wear. So I thought this one was really nice. Um, it's like a running hat, I think. It's vented, VRS. It's got reflective qualities to it. And it's Nike and it has like the Velcro, which we cannot call Velcro, you guys. Hook and loop is what that's called. So I got that to see how it would do. And I am doing whatnot auctions and beginning to add some of my hard goods back. Every fall I have just a little bit of hard goods. I don't do great with hard goods on Poshmark, which is very strange because for almost 30 years, I sold hard goods and I couldn't sell clothes. And so I went full time into clothing when I discovered Poshmark and kind of was forced into it with some surgery reasons. And so I still enjoy picking up fun things. So I'm gonna also try this on Whatnot because I really enjoy hard goods, but they don't sell great for me on Poshmark and or eBay. And I think that's because I've phased them out quite a bit, but this is a homemade, so this is styrofoam and it's almost like a quilted pattern. This took a long time for someone to do. I'm very bohemian. Next item I got at my local Goodwill. Oh yeah, I got that at Goodwill as well for a dollar. I got this at my local Goodwill. It was 99 cents. I got it because it's a really thick faux patent leather belt. Very 1980s in style. These are great for cinching sweaters and stuff like that. So I saw a lot of the white belts more towards fall and winter to be honest. Okay, I got this at the bins. I'm really unsure with how this will do. First of all, little white tank tops are in fashion. I do think this is a sleep top and this is why. This is the Vermont Country Store, which I've heard good things about. I don't think I've ever found. It's 100% new wool in a size small. And it has this really cute little cutout pattern to it. Reminds me very much of like 1970s sleepwear. And here's another little hat for 99 cents and I got it. <laughs> my Wi-Fi wasn't working in the store, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is kind of funny. So I'm like, that's gotta be something special, right? It says Arctic Air on it. It's got like this silver foil stuff. I need to put it on right now. I turned off the air conditioner for you guys and I'm burning up. So <laughs> what is this? It's from Walmart and you're supposed to wet it down like what person, unless you're like in a sports or something maybe. Okay, okay, there we go. You're in a marathon or something, you might want this. You wet it down and it's guaranteed to keep you 15 degrees cooler than what she was before. <laughs> So there's that. I bought it for 99 cents. Of course, I'm going to go for it. I bought it. Okay, the next item I got are these little coasters. So I asked my husband, I said, do you remember these things? He goes, yes, my grandma used to use them for coasters, like for hot stuff, okay, like on the dining room table. But they're very much in fashion right now, like in a bohemian decor type of way. You could put these on the wall or just lay them on the table. They're super cute. I paid $3 for all three of them, so it is 99 cents each. Once again, just a little bit of fun home decor added. 
And we have another hat. So this was also 99 cents. I sell a lot of these little hats, especially on Poshmark and eBay, okay? I don't sell them as much on Macari because of the shipping, because I always want to send these in a box. So I always say priority regardless because I've learned my lesson. I, I try to be frugal for my customers, but when you're frugal for them and then you smash their product, not a good thing. So I always ship hats in a box if they need to be. And this is a wool hat, okay? And it was 99 cents. The next item is real fun. So cape sweaters is actually in fashion again this year. And this is just escapade. So I think this is actually vintage 1990s. Okay, and it's just almost like Chanel, nubby knit, and then it has this fun fur trim around all of it. So it's pointed, okay, it's one size fits most, but I would say probably a large for it to look great, like, you know, anywhere from an extra small to a large, and it's this bright blue color. Another thing that's trending, and on Poshmark at least, if you put bright blue in your keywords, it tends to be found and sell well. So if you have a bright collar, that's something I've noticed. So I'd normally call that cobalt, royal blue, whatever. But now on Poshmark, I make sure I put bright blue, bright green, bright pink, because that key, those two keywords are selling items. Okay, I picked this up at the bins. I picked it up because I felt like, well, first of all, I done comps on it before I brought it home. But I felt like that it might be something just because, unlike the Arctic Air hat, right? Because it says in here, Illumina Night, right? So I, it's reflective, you guys. That's what the key thing is. But it's for running, hiking, all that. And they were selling these exact vests for around, sold comps on eBay for was around $30 to $35. So of course I picked it up. Even though it's not necessarily the style, I just could tell there was something about it. So I thought, well, I should look that up and see. And I did, and it was worth it. Okay, the next item my husband picked up. We do t-shirt auctions and whatnot, you guys. And I actually have t-shirts when they don't sell. After a few auctions, I put them onto my platforms. And they're selling decent. I mean, like, first of all, graphic t-shirts are trending for fall. Graphic t-shirts are always in fashion, but they don't always have a great resale, okay? Because people know if they're a, res or if they're a shopper, they can go and get them for $2, $1 at thrift stores. But because they are so trendy this year, I feel like that my sales for t-shirts are up a whole lot. And I feel it's got to be for that reason. So this says Slick Daddy on it. It's got a mouth, Slick the Slick Daddy Club. I have no idea what that is. Hopefully it's nothing gross. But some macho man's going to just love this. It's a size large. Okay. And it does have like, when I pull it up here, you see how that's like more true. It's not exactly faded. It does have a pit stain. Ooh, gross. So that's going to have to go in the wash. We'll put that over there. Okay. And we have a Kenneth Roberts. I got this because it was merino wool and it's very business, you know, oriented. I sell these sweaters. I don't sell a lot of men's items, but I do sell sweaters very well in the fall for men. So I always pick them up if they're like the grandpa sweater. There's something special, special about them, like the big Lebowski. Or if they're wool, cashmere, stuff like that, and in good shape. So I went and I held this up all over the place because it is a thin sweater. And I made sure that it didn't have holes in it. It didn't, so I grabbed it. Because I did pay full price, which is $5 for that sweater. The next item I got at the bins, even though it has a tag on it, just means it did not sell. I got it because Glitz and Glamour is also something very trendy for fall. So mixed stuff. So somebody's going to be wearing, possibly. Depends on the customer. Somebody would take this, like the younger crowd, and they would put this underneath a flannel, right? So like intermixing sequins and rustic is a thing this year. I don't know, not for me, but I don't care, I'll sell it. And this is vintage or village fair, so it's definitely vintage. I'm trying to see the size it has on here. Size, no? Yeah, size medium. So it's kind of like a baggy, shiny. It's metallic, gold, and black, almost like a zebra striped, I guess. Okay, and it's thin, and it's glamorous. Next item I picked up is because they're plaid pants. They were at the bins. Okay, I did not buy them at the store. They are tiny, which is probably why they didn't sell. However, we as resellers on the platform have a bigger audience than our local Goodwills. So if just because it's at the bins and it didn't sell at the Goodwill does not mean it's not going to sell for you. 
Okay, and it does have like this type of closure on it, flat front. They are gap, signature skinny ankle, and a size four. But these pants will absolutely sell. I have no doubt about it. They're in excellent condition. They're actually very high quality. You can feel the quality on them. And they're plaid. Okay, the next item I also got at the bins. I don't normally pick up jeans. I don't do great with them. But certain ones I just have a feeling about and I grab them and I think these will sell. So they are, they might be a skinny leg or like a tapered leg. I can't decide on that to be honest. But they are the kind of jeans that you pull on, right? They're not real jeans. And they're, so they're like a jegging, but they're super thick, high quality. Land's End, which is a good brand. Okay, and the size on these, if I can find it here. I can't find it immediately, you guys. I know it's in here. Oh, there it is. So these are the mid-rise pull-on skinny jean jegging, skinny tall. And they are a size eight. And they are a dark wash and they look brand new, which is why I went ahead and took a chance and grabbed them. Excuse me, you guys. It's so hot in here. All right, so these my husband found when he went to the Goodwill bins with me, and I grabbed them because they will absolutely sell, no doubt about it. They're in good condition. I'm not sure the brand. I think it was like an off brand, and they are a size nine. Go to sit them down there. Oh my goodness, my makeup's running into my eyeball, making me cry. Okay, I got this purse at the bins as well. I need to do just a little bit of touch up on it. It has I mean, like, not really even stains. I don't know. Maybe that's just dimpling now that I look at it here in person instead of looking at it on the camera. I have my camera facing me to make sure I'm in the frame. Okay, so it's L.L. Bean. It's lined. It's a canvas tote purse. I did look this up before I bought it, and they sell for around $20 to $25. So I went ahead and grabbed it because I was at the bins. Next item I got at the bins as well. And it is an Allen Lolly Vintage Golf Argyle Sweater Men's. Hey, you can feel that it's cotton. It's a navy blue collar. Hey, and it is a size extra large, which is a great size too. So that would be great for people that love to golf in the fall. Okay, the next item I got because it was all glittery. Another item I don't usually pick up uh, secondhand. I do get them sometimes in liquidations, but look at that shiny, pretty top. And it was at the bins, so I probably paid 50 cents for it. It's like a metallic gold black wash. It's a new day from Target, super lightweight. You see that kind of drapey look, and it's a size medium. I promise to fit on with my eye, you guys. Okay, I got this at my local Goodwill. I did pay full price for it, it was $5. I got it because I sell a lot of vintage sweaters and there's certain ones, I just see them and I know they're gonna sell. It's, you know, it's something after five years you figure out. Now, do they all sell? No, I'm not perfect by any means. However, I just kinda know, right? So this one is in very good condition. It's nice and black. It has this embroidery on the front and that's like kinda like fall vibe it has the wooden buttons that have this unique patina on them so i think that's plastic actually it's supposed to look like and this is the brand name tuttle and it's a size small and it is cotton this is super cute vintage sweater those ones that have kind of like a little bit of loud designs on them tend to sell better than the plain ones for me anyways okay oversized blazers is definitely in fashion this year Blazers, I sell every single year. This year, hopefully I'll sell even more because it's super trendy. But this is a vintage Sag Harbor. It is wool, so it has that kind of wool texture to it. Nice, big and boxy, really like a wine collar lined. It is um, pure wool also, by the way. And it's 18W is the size on that. And I really like the button too, the button detail. Let me get it up there. So. I meant the buttons, you guys. I love a good button. Okay, next item I got at the bins. I think I got two pair, but I'm not positive. They're size four and they're Cold Water Creek. And the only reason I picked them up, because it is a small size and it is Cold Water Creek, is because they are 
corduroy pants, straight leg, and they are in excellent condition and they're a pretty gray collar. Made my pile down here beside me. Next item I also got at the bins. It had been at Goodwill and didn't sell. It is a vintage Bryn Conley denim dress, cotton in a size 16. Let me stand up and show this to you guys. Very school teacher, right? Farm core, modest, button up front, in good condition, no stains, no issues. Got the little adjustable strap and back with pockets, all kinds of things going for it in my opinion. I also got this at the bins. Now this is no surprise it didn't sell at Goodwill just because of the season we're in, right? Most people are not shopping like we do. They're shopping for themselves. Okay, this is Sag Harbor. It is vintage, it's wool, and it's a size 14, but another dress I need to stand up for. Buttons up all the way down the front. Does it have real pockets? I can't tell. They're either not opened or they're not real. But a wool plaid little dress. Be great to layer like a turtleneck or something underneath it. I found this at my Goodwill bins and I was super excited because it is free people. And I don't often find good brands, I'm telling you guys. And I look, I look at every tag until I can't handle it at the bins. Okay, so it's just a really cute crop sweater. Kind of got a couple colors, but look, this is the showstopper here on the back. It's got like a really high back on it. And it's a size small. However, as you guys know, and it also has distressing on it, as you'll see right there. And I did look these up and they do have distressing. Some has a lot, some has just a little. So evidently they're not all made exactly the same. But as you know, with the size, free people, small, can make you feel skinny if you're not a small because I'm an extra large and that would probably be able to fit me. And the next item my husband found and I actually put them back and I'm like, no, because I don't sell shoes great. So going into fall, I'll grab boots. Boots sell well for me. But even good brands that other people say sells well for them. They just don't sell for me. But I went ahead and got these because look at them. Look, I mean, like they even change colors. They're very glittery, beautiful, Nine West pumps. And again, this glitter is in fashion this year, so I'm going to give them a try. I think it says a size eight and a half, which looks like it would be. But I just loved that glitter on there. So I went ahead and grabbed them back out of the bed and got them. Hey, I also found this at the bins. And thank goodness I was looking at the tags this day, you guys. And I think that's actually the back. Here's the front. Because I thought, you know, honestly, if I'd seen that, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. But we're doing t-shirts. So I'm like, hmm, what brand is that, though? James Purse, which is a good brand for me to sell. I know some people say it doesn't sell for them, but it does sell for me. It is an extra small, size zero, little t-shirt. Next item, oh my goodness, this is so soft. I got this at the bins as well. Had been at Goodwill, but you know, we're in summer, so there's that. And this is One, what? One Tough Babe is the name brand. So probably just like a little boutique brand. It's a size two extra large, and it's this Chanel, beautiful green, forest green collar, boxy sweater. Look at that collar, it's beautiful. Okay, and that's why I got it. Sweaters, for me, doesn't matter what brand they are, as long as, now if they're vintage, it doesn't even matter if they're in good shape. If it's free people, if it's anthropology, it doesn't have to be in perfect shape. But off-brand sweaters, I just make sure it's in good shape and there's not flaws before I pick them up. Okay, here's another cape sweater, like a poncho, okay? So you just wear it kind of like that black one I showed you earlier. And it's this Aztec design, very bohemian, has the fringe trim. I sell several of these each year. People don't tend to want to pick them up. And I believe it's probably because they only sell once it's said and done, your profit's about $15, but I'm okay with that because I know they sell. Okay, the next item is BKE. I forget who that is, you guys. I always want to say Urban Outfitters, but I don't think it is. Look at this beautiful boxy, lacy, embroidery, statement sleeve even with the embroidery down the side and this beautiful green color, which is great for fall. Let's see, what size is this, you guys? I should have looked at that while I had the tag size extra large, so also a great size. Another Ben's Fine, had been at Goodwill, did not sell. 
It's Love Tree. If you don't know what Love Tree is, it's always very soft. I think it might be sold at Kohl's or some one of the brands, like maybe in the, or one of the stores in the mall. But look at this. It's like very yoga-ish. It's very fluffy, fuzzy, furry, comfortable. It has this tie knot, so it adds some interest. V-neck. That's going to look super cute on somebody. And it's a size, did I tell you guys? Yeah, size small. It looks a little bit oversized. Here is a fun find at the bin. So I really enjoy finding funky fashion. I really, really enjoy finding it in larger sizes. Okay, so we have this velvet with this very much kimono, three-quarter sleeve, the French lace trim, elastic on the top. It's a boxy fit in this beautiful gray crushed velvet. Melissa Page is a name brand and it's a size 3X. Okay, I also, I got this at my local Goodwill actually. I started to say I got it at the bins, but I didn't. I paid $4.99 for it. It's Maurice's. I did get like a discount of 10% and I think I ended up like 15% additional that day. Okay, so I love the sleeves on it. Maurice's has a lot of really cute clothes. This is this year. So this was just put out this year, 2022. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Okay. Grabbed a purse from my local Goodwill. Again, paid full price for it. It was $5. I couldn't help myself. There's something about these type of purses. It's just Massimo, which is like a vintage Target brand. But look at the beading on it. And then the fringe. I mean, that is a cute festival purse. And it does have a little bit of, maybe a lot of a vintage smell. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that over there and put that in the freezer, you guys. Try to get that vintage smell out of there. This is one of the ones I just got also at my Goodwill, local Goodwill. I paid full price for it, $4.99. It's Maurice's. It's also this season, but it's a little lightweight sweater. Wait for the back of it. it has crochet trim. Ooh, excuse me, a little bit of putting that purse too close to my nose. I love the lace there, the contrasting style to it, but look at that big, oh, I just love, love, love that trim. I'm going to have to quit soon if I don't get done just because I can't see. Well, hang on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm still a hot mess, however. <laughs> At least I don't have it running down into my eye. Okay, so this is a vintage sweater. I don't know how to pronounce that brand. I see it quite a bit, actually. But I got it because it's a size 4X, and it is in excellent condition. Okay. Very much in line for fall fashion. Has the ribbed sleeves and just the great size. Okay, this is something that I found at my local Goodwill. I got it for one of our t-shirt auctions. I don't know anything about it. It's called a Hell Rock Cafe in the Grand Caymans. Okay. If anybody knows anything about it, let me know. Hell Rock Cafe in a size small. Here's another one of the cinchy belts that I get during the fall. Goes well around sweaters and blazers. This is another one, and I paid a dollar for that belt, you guys, at my local Goodwill. Here's another local Goodwill find. Knew a tag, had been $60. I paid $5 for it. It is the brand Liz and Me Platinum Collection, so I do believe that's Liz Claiborne. Looks very much like it, probably. Size 3X. Again, it has this Peter Pan collar that's in fashion right now. It has the nice roomy three-quarter sleeve, maybe actually long sleeve with a dolman underneath. Depends. It fits people differently depending on their size. And a fun geometric print. And like I said, brand new with tag, bright big buttons, had all the things going for it. I got this at the Goodwill. Um, it was $2. I got it for our t-shirt auction. I just thought it was like a cool little t-shirt. It's got all the speedometers and gauges on it. And it is a size medium and that will be a men's for sure. You guys, I grabbed this at the bins and I didn't look real close to be honest. So there's a little bit of a something that I'm gonna have to do to get it sold. But look at it, look at it. First of all, that is um, cross stitching on the bag. It is probably handmade very, very well. I mean, like 
they have like the dowels and everything in there to kind of like have that stiff. But here's where I flubbed up. I didn't see it had somebody's initials. <laughs> now I gotta find somebody that likes cottage core. And they have the initials DS. Oh my goodness. Super cute. Also smells a little bit vintage. I'll put that in the freezer. Okay, this is very wrinkled. And I think I showed this in another haul, you guys, but I'm just now getting around to putting it up. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm showing you guys what I'm listing. It doesn't have buttons on it. Hang with me for just a minute. I'm trying to get it to look somewhat nice, even though it is a complete wrinkled mess. It's Chico's. It's linen. Okay, I can't get it. It's got like the roll tab sleeve look. Okay, did it have a belt? It looks like it had a belt at one point. It no longer has a belt. It's a little jacket because it has no buttons. It has pockets. It's in this like army green, very natural looking, Scandi, coastal grandma. Okay, I got this at the bins for the t-shirt auction. I might put this on Poshmark just because it is what it is and that's clueless. So clueless is a keyword that we all use. I wonder how clueless will sell, we'll see. Okay. Here's another one of my 99 cent belts from the Goodwill, my local Goodwill. This is an item I pulled to repair. So I am gonna go ahead and repair it and this is how I'm gonna do it. So you guys see it has like a half button missing. So I had this for sale and it did not sell. And I, that's the only reason it's gotta be because look at this. It's a light chambray denim with that jute embroidery all over it. I mean, it's really, really pretty, very nice. So I'm gonna take the bottom button off and put it here and just leave the bottom button off and let people know the bottom button is missing. That's a little bit less intimidating. And this is Coldwater Creek. I got it for the style. I got it about a year ago, so I'm not, don't remember where I got it. It's a size medium. All right, you guys, the last thing is absolutely adorable. I'm glad I got it, but boy, did it give me grief when I washed it. So did little did I know what a Chanel robe or blanket does because I've never owned one. I know now they leave the most length you will have ever seen in your washer and dryer and all the clothes that you have with it. So I had to rewash clothes three times for this thing. But it's so cute. First of all, it's vintage. It's definitely vintage. Look at that tag. Okay. The, the size is off of it. I mean, it is a blur right? That tag is gone. Okay, but look at this little, is it called Chanel? I might be saying this wrong. Chanel's like the real soft stuff in a sweater. Whatever this stuff is. I'll get it close. You guys tell me, what is that called? Look at this little vintage robe in this pale yellow color. Another little ruffle trim. It has the slouchy baggy pockets and other than it missing its belt and you know what it may not even had a belt you guys no it didn't have a belt it has a button up front even better and i wish that i could get the true collar because it's like a really sunny happy right there it's yellow collar okay you guys i'm gonna go i'm melting oh i forgot to show you guys this little thing right here so i always pick up these furry fuzzy coats too this is the first thing i want to take a picture of it's going with the theme that i got going for today and it is, let's see, let me grab it down. It is a new day, so it's just from Target. I paid full price for it, $6. And you guys, I sell these things all winter long. Again, keep in mind what sells for me might not sell for you. I built this clientele. I've worked really hard for the last four or five years on selling quirk because that's what I felt like I needed to do to be able to do this job. So that I might have a customer base that you don't quite have. But I do sell these all year long and quite well. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, watching me melt down. And I hope I'll see you again on the next haul. Bye-bye. I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave. Too sexy for your party, too sexy for your party, no 
way I'm disco dancing. I'm a marvel, you know what I mean? And I do my little turn on the catwalk. Yeah, on the catwalk. On the catwalk, yeah. I do my, my life little like. turn on the catwalk.